Well, hey, this is Rick, and today we're heading out with the camper to my friend's off-grid property. We're getting her out of the barn here. It has been a rough couple weeks, and I just want to relax, so I'm inviting you. Come with me. Let's head out, get a fire going, sit around the fire, and take it easy. made it out here to the off-grid property got a fresh 20 gallon propane tank welcome to camp got the fire going here and I'm gonna I think I'm just gonna chill out maybe have a cup of coffee and then I'll get my uh, my supper going we have venison tonight and some other good stuff so come on let's check out the camper the camper is sitting on my 83 Chevy C20 that we plan on restoring, so it's got some issues. But uh, as long as we don't go too far, it's okay. It was my daily driver for many years. But the camper is a 1972 Saturn camper. If you haven't seen it on my other videos, you can check those out also. But it's a camper that my dad made uh, with his company. It is absolutely beautiful here. I've got the fire going. Got my cup of coffee. Just sitting here watching the sun begin to just start setting. The sun is going down and I'm gonna get this stuff on here before it gets too late. And then it gets to be hard seeing what's going on. We're off grid. I don't have a bunch of lights out here or electricity or a generator. So I'm gonna get these going. What I'm gonna do is I have venison it's already uh, cut up venison steaks, so I'm going to go ahead and put some A1 sauce in my pan here. And that's how I'm going to um, kind of baste this in A1 sauce before I put it out on the fire. So I will put it in here. really get it uh, covered over good and I have a grate or a grill that I have on the fire pit there and so I can move the steaks around on the grate that way they do not get too hot or too burned and they can take some time so I've got four in here I'm gonna go ahead and get these on I'll stick them over so that they're not getting out of control while I'm trying to finish up doing the other stuff. And I have some peppers and onions to also get in there. I have a big old pepper here that I'm going to cut up. Now I've got an onion. I noticed that this onion has a bad spot on it, so that out right away. This is all going in here in the pan. All right, now I'm going to put a little bit of sauce over it just to stir it in. I got the oil in there so it doesn't stick to the bottom of the pan. So that's kind of what it looks like right now. I'll just sit it right here. Okay. 
This is what I ended up with. It's kind of like a stir fry. Boy, does it smell good. And this is what it looks like. Try it out. Mmm. Wow. That sunset is just amazing. Can't beat this. Finishing up my my venison here for supper with red pepper and onion. Get the campfire going. Ah, God is good. Pretty cool with the interior lit up. It's lit up completely by my oil lamp and candles. Hey, it sounds like water is ready for coffee. I've got this going right there, that candle. And then I've got a candle going over here. And back on the table, I've got an old oil lamp, which was from my dad, which is fitting because this was his camper. Got my coffee again here. Got the fire going. Listen how quiet it is. Well, I can hear some Canada goose flying overhead. Sometimes you just need a break in the middle of a hectic week. And I gotta say, I'm privileged to have this campsite, this off-grid spot so close to my house. It's literally less than 10 miles away, but it's so quiet. And I just love a chance to get away for a little bit and enjoy the fresh air and a campfire. I'd encourage you, if you've been thinking about going camping, get out there and go. Get your stuff, find a place that's nearby and go and if you don't know what all you're going to need if you're close by you could run to a store you could run back home and get what you need that's how i've been figuring out what i need and i'm going to stock this camper here so that i have stuff already in there and then i'll have duplicate stuff when i need to go or when i want to go tent camping or head out on my motorcycle so there's a way that you can make the plans like that and i try to keep it simple and not be extravagant on stuff. Oh man, good coffee. Decaf, of course. <laughs> well, I'm all ready for bed here. Got my hood up to stay nice and warm. Not gonna run the heater. This is perfect sleeping weather. Should have no issues whatsoever. Nice and toasty and and all these blankets I've got. We'll see you all in the morning. Well, good morning, the coffee's made. I got the heater on here in the camper for a little bit. It's only 34 degrees. Had a good night. Got the fire going outside. We're gonna make some breakfast in a little bit. It is breakfast time, so we're gonna have some eggs. And I've got some strange chicken sausage, but it's actually quite good. And so we're gonna get that going. These are actually from our hobby farm that we have, from our chickens. So we got a couple of brown eggs and then a light brown I chunked up the sausage. I'm going to go ahead and put it in. We're just going to do a scramble on the eggs and sausage. Okay. That on. Wow, what a gorgeous morning.
There's a reason I come out here. Just amazing, beautiful, quiet. It is farmland around here, so you definitely can hear the sounds of roosters crowing and occasionally some machinery. Now this is definitely going slow, but it's finally starting to cook. Scrambled eggs here with the sausage already in it. And the sausage kind of comes pre-cooked. It was given to us. The free is always good. All right, we got our breakfast here. I'm gonna get some more coffee here. Pour over. I did one earlier, but the grounds, there's plenty, trust me. It was pretty strong this morning. Strong coffee in the morning is okay. One of the little tricks I've learned is making sure that for your pan, getting it clean, when you're done, put some water in the pan, heat it back up, and you can clean it off a lot easier. Well, it's time to douse the fire. Get going. Thanks for watching.